Hey everyone, it's Emily from Smart Edition Academy. Today we're going to be taking a HESI practice test on the grammar section. Now, if you just got here and you've never seen any of our content before, Smart Edition Academy helps future nurses and healthcare workers pass the TEAS, Kaplan, and HESI. A few months ago, I posted a video called Study for the HESI with me, and I actually did the grammar section. Um, I took this exact practice test, like as myself, I did not have the answer key. You should not be sleeping on the grammar section. It's a lot harder, in my opinion, than one would think. Maybe it's not harder, it's that it just really catches you by surprise, right? Um, you know, how hard can grammar be? But some of the questions you definitely need to have a solid understanding and at least a refresher. So. How this is going to work is we're going to take this practice test together. Um, I'm going to show the question on the screen. I'm going to give you a few seconds. You can always pause the video um, if you need some more time. And then I will show you the correct answer and we'll talk about why the answer is correct. I'm also going to be dropping some super helpful information about how to quickly boost your HESI score, how to study, what to study, tips for um, taking the test again, and, and so on. So. Let's get started. People have blank arms and legs. Okay, the answer is two. T-W-O. So one of the things you will definitely see on the HESI exam is spelling. It's going to ask you, um, like in this case, what is the correct word and the correct spelling of the word that best belongs in the sentence. Okay, next question. Choose the correct sentences. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see the letters and the punctuation. Choose the correct sentence. Okay, the answer is B days of the week and months of the year need to be capitalized. However, um, the name of a season does not. So in these, in, in a selection choice A and selection choice B, they capitalized autumn. And then D is not correct because they did not capitalize Tuesday and they did not capitalize March. So that is why the correct answer is B. Subjects blank to their king to show respect. The correct answer is A, bow. And this is the correct spelling of the word bow. Okay, quick interruption to give you something awesome, just like I promised I would do in the beginning of the video. So really quickly, what you're seeing here is our free HESI study boot camp. This is a totally free boot camp that you can join by using the link in the description below. And as you see here on the side panel, we tell you everything that is in math, A and P, grammar. We also include free study lessons. You have access to all of our study tips, tricks, and techniques, how to create a HESI study plan, and also a 20 plus page planner. Again, totally for free. You have access to all of these practice tests, and we basically make getting started Started studying for the HESI super super easy we spell it all out for you and it's totally free it does not cost you anything so I recommend if you are just starting out studying for the HESI or maybe if you know a friend who's studying for the HESI even if this is your second or your third time there is something in this boot camp that is going to help you get a better grade on the HESI it's totally free to join the link in the description below I'm gonna give you a quick sneak peek of what the inside of the grammar section looks like talks about the 10 types of questions you can see on the grammar section, everything you need to know to pass, the subject matter that you need. Um, it's going to show you a few of the types of questions. And then you get actually access to free study sessions. So this one is all about adjectives and adverbs. It comes with free educational videos, one on adjectives, one on adverbs, for example and you get access to all of this content for totally free. So go ahead, uh, click the link in the description below, and then let's get back to this test. 
Here is another capitalization question. The question says, choose the correct sentence. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the letters a little bit clearer. Okay, the answer is D. The House of Representatives had 435 members. Uh, the House of Representatives is capitalized in Selection D. Uh, the reason being is because national organizations need to be capitalized. Shorter propositions, articles, and conjunctions in the name of the organization are not capitalized. So what that means is you would not capitalize the O and of. So that is why C is not correct because they capitalized the of. A is not correct because they did not capitalize the H in house and the R in representatives. And B is not correct because they only capitalized the H and they did not capitalize the R. Okay, here is another question on capitalization. It is asking you to choose the correct sentence. The correct answer is A. So let's talk about this a little bit. One of the things that I remember getting wrong on this practice uh, test when I took it a few months ago was this question. And that's because I had actually selected B primarily because the word governor was also capitalized. Um, I was actually really surprised to find out that the answer is A and that governor is supposed to be lowercase. I was really caught off guard by that. So the reason being is that individual names and states are always capitalized. However, professional titles are only capitalized when they're part of a direct address or they are before a name. So for example, the fact that it says he was the governor of California, that's not a name and he's not being directly addressed, so it would be a lowercase. Okay, here's a spelling question. Since it is raining outside, I should blank a raincoat. The correct answer here is A, where? Uh, this is the only correctly spelled form of the word that fits with the sentence. Okay, here is a punctuation question. It says, what is the mistake in the following sentence? The following sentence says, he asked me, what are you doing this weekend? The correct answer is D. There should be a question mark after weekend. Um, there should be a question mark after weekend because he is posing a question. The common word question trigger word, so to speak, is the word of what. So there should be, instead of a period here, it should be a question mark and then a quotation mark. Okay, next question. What is the mistake in the following sentence? Albert Einstein claimed imagination is more important than knowledge. Is it A, Albert Einstein needs an apostrophe? B, there should be a colon after claimed? There should be a comma before than? Or there needs to be a comma after claimed? The correct answer is D, there needs to be a comma after claimed. Commas are needed for introductory phrases and before the quoted material. So the comma needs to go right here. I 
fill in the blank with the correctly capitalized form. Every week they got together to watch blank. The correct answer is B, The Bachelor. The and Bachelor should both be capitalized. This is because it is a name of the show. Um, the word the is capitalized because it is the first word in the name. What is the correct use of a period in the following sentence? The correct answer is B. A period is only used at the end of a sentence, not anywhere in between. This is the complete thought in the end of a sentence. That's where the period belongs. On earth, blank are seven continents. The answer is B, there, T-H-E-R-E. This spelling of the word there refers to a place or a position and it is correctly spelled. It wouldn't be D because this stands for they are. This is uh, C is just spelled incorrectly and the spelling of answer choice A would mean to belong to in possession of. So like saying it's their continent, it belongs to someone else. So the context is not correct here. Okay, another punctuation question. What is the mistake in the following sentence? Hospitals can be scary because they are filled with sick people and needles. The answer is D, hospitals does not need an apostrophe. Hospitals is plural and it is not possessive in this sentence. Now you know that you can uh, make a word a plural by adding an S if it ends with a consonant. So in this case, it ends with an L, which is a consonant, which allows you to just add an S to the end of that to make it plural. This question says, how many nouns are in the following sentence? The team of scientists presented the results of their research at the conference. The answer is D, five. The five nouns in this sentence are team, scientists, results, research, and conference. Remember, a noun is a person, place, or thing. So they were at a conference, they were talking about research and results, the who is the team and the scientists. Identify the dangling or misplaced modifier if there is one. Having been repaired, we can drive the car again. A, having been repaired, B, we can drive, C, the car again, or D, there is no dangling or misplaced modifier. Question. The answer is A, having been repaired. Having been repaired is spaced where it references we, but it should reference the car. Select the correct adverb to complete the following sentence. Harry ran more blank than Olive. The answer is B, slowly. Harry ran more slowly than Olive. Slowly is an adverb that describes the verb ran. How many pronouns are in the following sentence? We asked for his opinion, which he was happy to give.
The answer is D, four. There are four pronouns in this sentence. We, his, which, and he are pronouns. So uh, referencing back to the study with me video that I was telling you about earlier in the video, pronouns actually ended up being one of the question category types that I got really low scores on. Um, and if you watch that video, you kind of see me go through the pronoun lesson. And one of the things in that lesson is that it goes, it gives you a chart of all of the common pronouns and it really explains it. Like for example, if you would have asked me that question, I would have said there's only two, like his and he, and I would have picked two instead of four. Um, and it was just like a light bulb going off. So I don't know if anyone can relate. Let me know in the comments below if you also struggled with pronouns or maybe you also thought it was only one or two or maybe three. Let me know in the comments below. This question says, select a verb that correctly completes the following sentence, blank, not worry about it. The answer is do. Answer choice B. The helping verb do should be used to make a negative statement with the main verb worry. Fill in the blank with the correct coordinating conjunction. Would you like the soup blank? Would you like the salad? Is it or, yet, but, or an? The correct answer is or. or it is the only conjunction that fits within the context of this sentence. How many verbs are in the following sentence? They toured the art museum and saw the conservatory. Is it zero, one, two, or three? The answer is C, two verbs in the following sentence. Toward and saw are the verbs. Remember, verbs are actions. Touring is an action and seeing is an action. Which of the following is an example of a simple sentence? Tamara sporting goods store. Tamara has a sporting goods store in town. Tamara has a sporting goods store. It is in town. Tamara sporting goods store is in town and she is the owner. The answer is B, Tamara has a sporting goods store in town. This is a simple sentence since it contains one dependent clause consisting of a simple subject and a predicate. Which of the following options would give this sentence a parallel structure? The room was cleaned, painted, and blank. Tori redecorated it, redecorated by Tori, redecorating by Tori, Tori as redecorating it. The answer is B, redecorated by Tori. Redecorated by Tori would be parallel in structure since the list begins in passive voice and uses the past tense of the verbs. Which of the following is an example of a complex sentence? Roberto had a job through high school. He volunteered his time. Roberto had a job through high school and he volunteered his time. Because Roberto had a job through through high school, he volunteered his time. Even though Roberto had a job through high school, he volunteered his time. The answer is D. Even though Roberto had a job through high school, he volunteered his time. 
And this is a complex sentence because it has a dependent clause, an independent cause, and a subordinating conjunction, which in this case is even though. Okay, identify the conjunction in the following sentence. He is sick, yet he came to work. The correct answer is B, yet. Yet is a conjunction. Okay, it says identify the direct object in the following sentence if there is one. After hiking, the scouts cook dinner over a fireplace. The correct answer here is B dinner. Dinner is the direct object of the verb cooked. Identify the dangling modifier in the following sentence. After reading the book, the movie that just came out must be pretty bad. The answer is A, after reading the book. After reading the book is a modifier that by its placement is incorrectly referenced to the movie. The modifier is dangling because there is no noun or pronoun that references the person who read the book. Which of the following options would give this sentence a parallel structure? Timothy has a lot of goals in life, like getting his master's in education, volunteering his time to help others, and blank. The correct answer is B, publishing his own book. Publishing his own book would be parallel and structured to the other items since they are longer phrases and use the gerent form of the verb. Select the correct word to complete the sentence. It's exciting to watch the nation rebuild blank economy. It's, it's, there, or these. The answer is A, it's. Nation is a singular noun, so the pronoun that refers to it should be singular possessive pronoun. How many modifiers describe the underlined word in the following sentence? The royal wedding was beautiful and meaningful. The answer is D, three. Royal, beautiful, and meaningful are all words that describe the wedding. Identify the dangling or misplaced modifier in the following sentence. When six years old, our family was transferred overseas by my father's company. Is it A, when six years old, B, our family, C, was transferred overseas, or D, by my father's company? The answer is A, when six years old. When six years old is missing a reference, to add this reference, I, the sentence can be rewritten, when I was six years old, our family, or when six years old, I experienced our family's transfer. How many nouns in the following sentence have incorrect capitalization? The Patel family moved to the United States and they now live in the Boston area. The correct answer is C, two. Family and area are common nouns and they should not be capitalized. 
Identify the direct object in the following sentence. Paulo accidentally locked his keys in the car. The answer is C, his keys. His keys is the direct object of the word locked. What part of speech is the underlined word in the following sentence? Douglas served on the Supreme Court for 36 years. The answer is A, noun. And the reason being is that Supreme Court is a noun. As a reminder, a noun is a person, place, or a thing. Identify the direct object in the following sentence, if there is one. Max tried so hard, but he did not succeed. The correct answer is D, there is no direct object. Neither the verb tried nor the verb succeed has a direct object. So and hard are adverbs. Identify the conjunction in the following sentence. I walked home even though my feet really hurt. So A, home, B, even though, C, my, or D, really hurt. The answer is B, even though. Even though is a subordinating conjunction, it connects the clauses, I walked home and my feet really hurt. How many plural nouns are in the following sentence? Marie's father's appendix was taken out. The answer is A, or zero. Marie's and father's are possessive, but they are not plural. An appendix is a singular noun. How many nouns are in the following sentence? I don't know her. The answer is A, zero. Neither of these words are noun. I and her are pronouns. Select the correct, select the correct word to complete the following sentence. I don't think I did very blank at the tryouts. Is it best, well, good, or better? The answer is B, well. The adverb well describes the verb did. Identify the subordinating conjunction in the following sentence. Don't leave until we get there. The correct answer is A, until. Until is the subordinating conjunction connecting the main clause, which is don't leave, with the dependent clause, we get there. Select the correct word to complete the following sentence. It was a treacherous route and they traveled more blank when they had a guide. The correct answer is D, safely. Safely is an adverb that describes the verb traveled. Select the correct verb to complete the following sentence. Neither grandma or aunt Lucy blank where the old photos are.
The answer is B, nose. With neither slash nor, if both subjects are third person singular, the verb should take the third person singular form. Which of the following options would give this sentence a parallel structure? Traveling gives people memorable experiences, exposes them to different cultures, and blank. Is it A, broadens their perspective? Is it B, to broaden their perspective? C, broadening their perspective? Or D, will broaden, or D, will broaden their perspective? The correct answer is A, broadens their perspective. Broadens their perspective would be parallel in structure to the other items since they are longer phrases and they use the same verb form. Fill in the blank with the correct coordinating conjunction. Julia wanted the new iPhone blank. She could not afford it. And the correct answer is C, but. Julia wanted the new iPhone, but she could not afford it. It is the only conjunction that fits within the context of the sentence. Identify the dangling or misplaced modifier if there is one. Hoping for sun, we went to the beach. Is it A, hoping for sun, B, we went, C, to the beach, or D, there is no dangling or misplaced modifier? The answer is D, there is no dangling or misplaced modifier. The sentence is actually correct. Identify the proposition in the following sentence. It's really hot in that room. Is the preposition A, it, B, hot, C, in, or D, that? The answer is C, in. In is a preposition. How many verbs are in the following sentence? We read about World War I, World War II, and the Korean War in my history class. Is it zero, one, two, or three? The answer is B, one. The only action or verb in this sentence is the word read. Identify the direct object in the following sentence. The doctor treated 10 new patients last night. The answer is C, patients. The verb here is treated. You have to think about what the doctor is doing this action to. We're talking about patients. It is the direct object of the verb treated. Select the correct verb to complete the following sentence. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday because the whole family blank together. The answer is D, is. This sentence has two predicates connected by because. In the second predicate, the verb is agrees with the subject family. Fill in the blank with the correct coordinating conjunction. My daughter is in a school play, blank. I want to go to every performance. The answer is A, so. 
It is the only conjunction that fits within the context of the sentence. All right, we're almost there. We're almost through with this HESI practice test. This question says, how many pronouns are in the following sentence? So for this last HESI practice test question, it is a is. The subject family is singular and takes the verb is. Now what you're seeing here is the test being graded. And remember, like I was saying in the beginning of the video, I actually took this practice test without an answer key, just knowing my own knowledge and no prior studying. And what I got was something like this. I saw a diagnostic report. It broke down all of the categories that one would see when they're taking the HESI grammar test. So I got a not so great grade on pronouns as well as say capitalization. What I would do then is I would go back to my study materials and I would come up with a plan. Okay, so I got a zero in capitalization in pronouns. I gotta study this stuff because it's on the test and I'm not doing so hot. So the easiest way to boost your score is to start with those weak areas. We actually go over how to do all of this and provide you with the study schedule inside of that HESI study bootcamp. And all of our practice tests also include this diagnostic report at the end. So if you just want to grab the practice test or if you want to join us and do all of the free study bootcamp activities, you can take the test and follow this method as well. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Check out our channel. We have tons of video all about the HESI, uh, HES, how to create a study schedule, HESI study tips. We have each section broken down. We have free HESI group tutoring on things like chemistry, math, A and P. So make sure you check out our channel, share with a friend who's studying with the HESI. And yeah, let me know in the comments which categories you think that you need to study a little bit more on in order to get a better grade on your grammar section of your HESI. Thanks guys.